Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 18 in chapter 11. In this chapter, we talk about angular momentum. There we can see we have the small planet, and、uh, its mass is given, m a, and its linear velocity is given. We convert the unit to meter per second, right? And then it just、uh, hit the Earth. The Earth is there at the equator tangentially. So. And are in the direction of Earth's rotation. So when it is, when it hits Earth, we can see it. They just rotate at the same rotating direction. Now we consider angular momentum is conserved, and to find the percent changes in angular speed of the Earth. So for this one, we can see, um, in this system, the angular momentum must be conserved because. All forces and the torques are external of the system, so no external force act on the system. Agree? So now we can see what quantity is given. First one, the planet's mass is given, linear velocity is given, so we can get the momentum of inertia because there we consider this planet rotate around the center of the Earth, so this is a r. The distance from Earth to the planet, right? So the momentum inertia is m a r square, and also for the Earth, it rotate around itself. Then we can consider the momentum of inertia for the Earth is this one. You can check your textbook. Now we see the angular momentum is conserved. So that means the initial angular momentum equal to final angular momentum. So initial include two part. The angular momentum come from the Earth and the planet. This two part. Finally, these two attaches together, so they get the same final angular velocity. Agree? Yes. And then we can get the angular velocity for this planet use the linear velocity divided by r. Then we input it inside. We get the final answer there. And also we can find the. Momentum of inertia for this for this planet can be ignored relatively to the Earth because it is super small. It is super small and the Earth is huge, so momentum of the I A can be ignored. So the equation becomes this one, and then we can get the function for the angular velocity. This one, right? Angular velocity for the final, and then we can see the mass of the Earth and.、Uh, The angular velocity for the Earth can be found at zero, and then we input the known quantities. We get the final answer zero, right? And we can say it is super small and can be ignored. Thank you.